featuring an athlete, a cyclist, and also a horse. I'm not going to tell you too much about uh, who's in it because Penelope's going to do that for us very shortly. But are you going? Which way are you going? Man, oh. machine, or animal? Well, I think I'll go animal. Um, no doubt the horse will be probably quite severely handicapped, but I'll still stick with the animal. OK, Linda Jones, you're on the spot. We'll see how good you are. And we know Linda's love of animals, well proven in the past. Let's now go to Penelope Barr, who's at, I think, the 800 metre mark. Penelope. I certainly am at the 800 metre mark, Philip, and of course it's a race we've all been waiting for. It's the real race of champions. And of course there's only three competitors in this race, so chances are your favourite's going to be a winner. Now our first starter here today is a man we're all very familiar with. He's a man with a long line of grace credits to his name. And he is of course an Olympic gold medalist and a man who's achieved 100 sub four minute miles. He is of course John Walker. Now John, we've got some pretty tough conditions here for you today. How are you going to cope? I don't know. Well, I, I thought I'd be smart, you see. I didn't bring any spikes. And then I, I can't find, I can't run in proper shoes. So, and then I took my socks, socks off. They didn't work. I was going to run in bare feet. Well, anyway, I'm back to uh, square one again. But it's very, very tough conditions out here. Wait for age conditions. I'm the oldest in the field. That's why I'm going to have a start. <laughs> At least you're not complaining about the weather. Now, of course, we know that your speciality is one mile. What's your best time for 800 metres? Well, many, many years ago, I ran 144. But I would think on today's conditions, about 2.30, trying to finish honourably. <laughs> OK, that sounds great. Any secret strategies that you'd like to share with us, besides trying to stay dry? <laughs> well, I'm going to try and take that inside running rail. I've been watching all the slow horses that I've been backing today. They've been doing no good, so I hope it's no omen. <laughs> <laughs> all the best, John. We'll see you at the finish line. Now, our second competitor here today is a man who's na made a big name for himself in New Zealand cycling. He is, of course, a Commonwealth Games gold medalist, and it is, of course, pouring, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> OK, Gary, not exactly aerodrome or aero you know, velodrome. Air, velodrome, sorry, aerodrome, velodrome conditions, and I, I did notice that you're trying to combat that by very interesting tyres. Yeah, I've got uh, got the big knobblies on today, <laughs> and you know, John's having trouble with his grip. These things grip so hard that I, I think I'm going to be struggling to get, you know, get around here at all. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like there's going to be plenty of wind drag. It's not exactly aerodynamic conditions out here today. How are you going to combat that? Um, I think fairly similarly to John, I'm just going to be grovelling around to the finish line. I definitely think the horse has got the home advantage. You do indeed. OK, have you made any special preparation, mental and physical, for this very tough race today? Well, I was looking at the chocolate mousse up there at lunchtime <laughs> and the preparation was I didn't, didn't have chocolate mousse at lunchtime, so I should be flying. <laughs> So you'll be very light, very light, wait for age, will our Gary. OK, all the best, Gary. Yes, it is a bit cold. Gary needs to go and warm up. All the best for the race. We will, of course, see you at the finish line. Now, our third and final competitor is a horse who doesn't like me moving about. Um, he's a horse that we don't know a lot about, so perhaps we'd like to talk to Alvin Tweedy, who is, of course, his rider here today. Now, Alvin... How do you think debt to pay is going to go? Well, he won his last start, and uh, he, uh, he won quite nicely. He's a nice type of horse, and um, I think, you know, the conditions or anything like that should suit him. OK, okay you can see very adverse conditions here today down at the 800 metre mark. All the best to all the competitors, and back to you, Philip. OK, well, let's assess the form now that uh, for this very important race, the race of champions. Difficult conditions. Old debt to pay is really keen to go. And uh, we want the field now for the race, headed by number one, John Walker. Two is Gary Anderson. And there we have it. Number three in the race over 800 metres is debt to pay. John Walker is ready and uh, looks set for form. He's got uh, great background. Look at that. Olympic gold medal is 76, silver medal is 74. First man to break 100 sub four minute miles. He's broken two world records in his career. 38 year old John Walker. There's Jack Mudford. Gary Anderson, good form too. Comes into the race with three Olympic uh, Commonwealth golds from Auckland, one Commonwealth silver at Auckland, and four Commonwealth medals from Edinburgh in 86. And there it is, debt to pay. We don't know a lot about debt to pay, but we do have some form background. Let's have a look at debt to pay in winning style. Seven starts for one win, three fourths and two seconds. So they're almost set to go, won't be long to go. 
This is debt to pay in winning form, just in case you want to know a little bit more about the horse. Here we go. The leader, very noble from out wide on the track, Palvita's Pride Line Bay after these. Then down the very outside, debt to pay at the 300 metres across the track. And it's still Dead Isle Line Bay from debt to pay on the outside. Palvita's Pride next, Big Country starting to run on a bit from uh, the, at the 200 metres. Debt to pay though, Lime Bay's kicking back on it. Debt to pay on the outside, doing best though, going to the post. Debt to pay has paid its debt, it wins a half length. Second at the line was Lime Bay, Palvita's Pride next with Kura Kid running on. Yep. They're standing waiting, they're ready to go. Penelope Barr, the official starter along with Jack Mudford and John Walker is underway, 800 metres. He reckons it'll take him around about two minutes, 15 seconds. Grant Nisbet joining us for comments. Yes, well he started pretty well, uh, Phil. Uh, John Walker's always handled the heavier tracks in the, fast, in the past. In fact, uh, he's had to handle any number of heavies at his time. He gets better with age, and uh, but perhaps the right-handed track worries me a little, Phil, but he's going pretty well at this stage. So Gary Anderson now at the start. He's waiting for the queue. About 30 seconds after it, Jack Mudford is the official timekeeper. Gary Anderson on the mountain bike. Waiting for it now. One, go! Gary Anderson underway. Look at those conditions. It's going to be difficult. John Walker opting for the inside running. Gary, Wal uh, Gary Anderson, where will he position himself? And of course, debt to pay. They reckon it can run the 800 in around about 53 seconds. There is debt to pay. Here is John Walker. He's going pretty well. He's already in the straight. I'm getting worried. I think he might have put a break on this field. Here's debt to pay, about to start galloping. Nervous, isn't it? <laughs> Alwyn Tweedy, he's wondering. Alwyn's keen to get going. The horse is keen to get going. Right oh, we have a race. And there is debt to pay. John Walker, where is he? He'll be in the straight. Gary Anderson, he'll be in the straight. Look at him. Oh, he's finding it difficult. Gary Anderson is on the slowest track he's ever struck in his life. John Walker, meantime, he's looking around, waiting for the opposition to appear. So here we have it. John Walker is with inside of the post. Gary Walker is closing quickly. Here's the horse. Well, Gary Anderson has really had trouble out here today. John Walker, now he's starting to stretch out. Who's going to get there? Will it be Walker? Will it be the horse? Oh, goodness gracious me, he says. This isn't on. Well, we've seen it a few times before, but really, John Walker, I think that moment that he looked over his shoulder and saw that horse coming might have cost him the race. So Gary Anderson crosses the line now, and I would say he will be admitting to everyone that that is the heaviest track that he has ever run on, <laughs> or ever cycled on. What do you think, Grant? Well, yeah, <laughs> damn sight easy with four legs in these conditions, uh, Philip. And uh, the, the horse certainly did fly, didn't he? John Walker uh, started very strongly, just seemed to uh, lose it a little, and then realised I think it was just a little bit too late. But <laughs> not sure what we've proved here today. Well, you know, Grant, we've got the background music out here on course, which uh, this is the moment, and I de indeed it is. It'll probably be debt to pay his only opportunity and uh, trainer Kevin Crampton to say, well, behind him, two Olympic and Commonwealth gold medalists. So we're going to have a word with uh, John Walker and Gary Anderson just as soon as they get across here and get uh, some reaction from them. So Debt to Pay is the winner of the Race of Champions. Well, here we see 